What's up, everybody, and welcome to week 10 of the Swolecast here on RedderGrunners.com. I'm David Kitchen, and listen, I am happy to be here right now. I am happy. I know that Davis Maddock is uh, is happy to be here with us as well after a successful week nine. Dan Gass from Mr. Tuttle also with us. He's always happy. This guy is always most enthusiastic the member of the crew. Happy, very, very jovial. Yeah. Uh, and then there's Peter Overzet. And uh, Peter, you you've <laughs> you've been struggling lately. Yes, to uh, that's one way to put it, Dave. <laughs> and actually. There is something I kind of want to say just to set the tone. Um, yeah, let's say it. Permission to have the floor right now, guys? Yeah, permission granted. Yeah, I just kind of want to establish some ground rules for this show, kind of as a preventative measure to make sure you guys don't offend me or step on my toes. And so there's really three main things I need to get off my chest. And one, I exclusively play at FanDuel now. <laughs> <laughs> Two, ownership projections don't matter. I will never <laughs> reference them again. And number three, I only play good plays. And as long as you guys understand that that's where I'm coming from, I think everything will work out. You guys are more than welcome to build a lineup on DraftKings. I'm going to say players that I'm going to play on FanDuel, and I trust you guys can work around the salary constraints. So you've now you've now gone full circle, and you're coming back. You're Silva now. You're, like you're, you haven't looked at the DraftKings salaries. What we really need is you need to turn all your office lights off, and then yeah, there <laughs> we go. On, Once you get a yeah, no, <laughs> gain a few pounds. <laughs> for those for those of you that do not know, um, Peter made an agreement. <laughs> <laughs> Peter made uh, an egregious 2v2 swap, late swap in last week's contest. A, a, ga- a galaxy brain late swap, if you will. He had Matt Stafford and Tyler Lockett and said, no, I want a um, a washed-up Aaron Rodgers and a 70% healthy Devontae Adams on my team instead. Hey, Dave, Dave yep. this is a forward-thinking show, all right? Let's move on. <laughs> <All right. laughs> How, oh. how was the water jug ready? That that was impressive, actually. Dude, he, no. like you think you think Peter's office is not full of props to make <laughs> jokes on live shows? Like this is literally what his office exists we for. Is we just, did, that wasn't scripted for anybody no. that's like wondering that, that, that was, was not a, scripted. That was a un um, that was like an unused water jug. So that's why <laughs> that's barely, barely got the tip right now of it. All right, um, let's get into week. 10 here on <laughs> Swolecast. Tuttle, why don't you give us the overview? Um, the overview is play Lamar Jackson, play Christian McCaffrey, play Christian Kirk, and then figure out the rest. Okay. You haven't Chris- been grinding injury reports? Uh, Christian Kirk? Dude, I don't care about Lamar. What, did we even no, get any just, sort of, he, he, was, he, he was personal, right? He, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't practice cause he's too ill, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I this, get it, Davis. Like, 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 here, yeah. like sick, like the millennials say, like the kids. There we say. go. Yeah. Sick. I got it. I mean, I will give it to you, Tuttle. Kirk is way too cheap on FanDuel this week. <laughs> <laughs> 5700? <laughs> My concho is going to be so mad that Davis is laughing this <laughs> oh, one. <man. laughs> Davis is in such a good mood. You can tell, like he did, like he didn't get laid. He won a one k. Like, yeah, he, like he won a one k. Get paid, win one k. That's what uh, <laughs> that's what he got. Davis and you, I mean, and at the same tell time, tell everybody, tell everybody what this fish did last week that sent you a one k head to head. So this guy who played me for 1K decided that um, he was going to spend $4,800 on a quarterback. <laughs> wasn't wasn't Matt Moore though? It was Ryan Fitzpatrick instead. This so guy. he ran he ran ran pretty hot. Got I think like 23 points out of him, and was like, okay, tight. What I'm going to do now is not play Christian McCaffrey with with the savings. <laughs> so went went Dalvin Cook over Christian McCaffrey. And then when he's stone dead and he knows that all I can have is 
Godwin, he he didn't swap off of Godwin for Tyler Lockett or Metcalf or anybody. He just he just let himself be dominated. That would have been amazing. That would if he if he was sharp enough to swap to Lockett. Yeah. I mean, he still would have lost, but yeah. it would have been closer. That guy is sharp. You do not late swap. You play the best <laughs> plays. <Yep. laughs> Just lock yourself into a loss. Play the best yeah. plays. Yeah. When when you when you like sent us a link and I saw that he played Fitzpatrick and then Preston Williams just was going off. I'm like, this is poetic because you because you played Cole Beasley in catch. I'm yeah, like, but here's the thing: when Cole Beasley scored a touchdown on that first drive, I was like, okay, I'm gonna win today. Today yeah. it's gonna be a good day. Well, you you did win. Did he and get a reception a the rest of the game or no? no he did get uh, one more. No, he got one more four yard reception later on. It's always good when your player scores a touchdown on DraftKings and still has single-digit points. <laughs> you love to see it. <laughs> All right, um, let's talk. Let's talk about this slate. Uh, we also have to figure out like, like how how much do we want to play players on bad teams with bad coaching? Yeah, so that's a real question because there are a lot of bad players who are uh, pretty firmly in play this week, particularly at the tight end position. <laughs> there are a lot of guys who are just like, like for example, on DailyRoto.com, we have Rhett Ellison projected very aggressively, and I mean, on one hand, I want to argue with it and be like, look, it's Rhett Ellison. He's been in the league since 2012 and has only seen seven or more targets in six games in his, uh, uh what, what would that be, like seven-year NFL career. And then on the other hand, in the game where Evan Ingram didn't play this year, he got six targets. So it's like and maybe lastly, Rhett Ellison. And lastly, his name's Rhett. Right. Right. Also, his name's Rhett. So that's, so that's a positive. Oh, that's a positive. Yes. I was very, going with a negative there. And if you, okay. if you are spouting out his resume, you can't forget the flow chart touchdown against the Cardinals as well. Yeah. Flow chart touchdown with Ingram healthy though. Yeah. I mean, right? that's, he's like our generation's go dirt, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good play on, is he minimum salary on FanDuel? I don't think you have to go there on FanDuel. I mean, <laughs> Kelsey's only like 1800 more. So I'm just going to play Kelsey. This is play, this play the best Kelsey. place. This might be the Kelsey week on uh, DraftKings too. I I don't I don't see any way that you play him in the cash game single entry team unless you're purposely trying to get super weird. All right, well, be the first time. <laughs> like Tennessee secondary is bad. They lost. Oh, well, 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 insider on info. The in, insider on the info. <laughs> <laughs> they also have uh, Jeffrey Simmons now with a hamstring injury. Like their their secondary is is bad. Like this is whoever's the quarterback, Mahomes, Moore, whoever's the quarterback, they're gonna have a field day. And uh, Kelsey has got some some negative touchdown regression that is going to be positive after this week. We're da- we're talking about multiple touchdowns for Mr. Travis Kelsey this week. Davis, do I have permission to cite uh a pass no, and I heard you. Up. I heard you on your podcast <laughs> talking about about the uh, the run funnel. Actually, hold on. I need to rewind us a little bit to something. Did we talk about the Kansas City Chiefs having a bad run defense on the show last week? Because I was flummoxed at Dalvin Cook's like ownership, and then on the Gill cast, Sammy and Nate told me that the Chiefs are like 28th in DVOA against the run. Did we talk about that? Run funnel, baby. Run, okay, I didn't know if that was mentioned. And did you know teams like to run against Kansas City? No, oh, it's true. Derrick Henry week. All right. Oh. Uh, let's, uh, let's open up DraftKings. We'll talk about quarterbacks as well. Tuttle, who are the, uh, who are the, just the chalk locks this week? I just gave them off at the beginning of the show. All right. Peter? How much is Kyler Murray on DraftKings? <laughs> 6,500. 6, Jam him in. <laughs> I love Ky- this is this is the Cardinals week. I mean, why isn't this the Cardinals week? It is. They're they are going to be. This is going to be the Seattle Tampa Bay game of last week for sure. Imagine fading that Seattle Tampa Bay game last week. T- it, it did not feel good. I was with everybody else and was like, oh, they're just going to be pure chalk. We get, like, I, I jammed, I jammed it in and, uh, I'm still not rich. I, bro- I broke even in GPPs for the first time this year though, so. <laughs> <laughs> so running hot, baby. Running hot. I, uh, I had to pay for Nick Chubb, um, Ooh. instead of, instead of. Lockett Nick Chubb, Evans. Nick Chubb is just fancy Adrian Peterson at this point. 
Yeah. But but you know this is the week with Hart oh, yeah. back, everyone yeah. off of him. He's yeah. gonna smash the Bills. Yeah. What, yeah. Like, what's, he, reason, what's he cost? What's he? What's he cost on Fanduel? Is he? What's his ownership projection, Peter? So I w- could care two shits about his ownership, <laughs> but he's seventy nine hundred. Seventy nine hundred. <laughs> I updated my spreadsheet with exclusively FanDuel salaries. If you guys got one, I also have the blitz projections up. I can sort by best points per dollar values, best ceiling yeah. values. That's all I care about. All right. <laughs> so we've got the uh, we've got DraftKings. Let's go ahead and just make a lineup. NFL DraftKings. NFL DraftKings cash game lineup. Cash play this in cash. Play this in cash. No, you you play it in tournaments too. If you're playing the best plays, you can play across. You play it in both any contest, yeah. right? Yeah. That's, kind true. Of, kind That's of true. Agree. Kind of good agree. Point. All right, um, Peter. Since you don't really know the salaries, you just go ahead and pick a good play, and we'll play him this. Kyler Murray to Christian Kirk, alpha move. Don't care about the salary. Didn't didn't think that one. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should so take the perfect if, pass. So if we um. If we wanted to just mention this, because I don't know if we'll get to it, Larry Fitzgerald is like basically an animated corpse at this point on the on the field. But if there was ever going to be a week where he was just going to walk into like seven targets uh, in a high scoring game, this is going to be that week because Christian Kirk played uh, uh, seventy. Eight percent of his snaps on the outside last week, first time ever, which I think really explains why he only got five targets. And like guys like Keyshawn Johnson were, uh, you know, were, were running circles around him. Farrell Cooper had uh, more receiving yards than Christian Kirk last week, so just wanted to mention that. Uh, yeah, that Christian Kirk game last week was frustrating. We'll talk I didn't, about- I didn't captain him in showdown or anything. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, we've got. Kyle Murray or Kyler Murray, Christian Kirk, Tuttle, you have next crack at it. Kyler and Kirk are gonna be playing from behind because Ronald Jones is gonna score three touchdowns first. Oh. What Ronald is Jones what is playing. worse chalk? Ronald Jones chalk or David Montgomery chalk? <laughs> what could possibly be worse? Ron- Ronald Jones is only like DFS Twitter chalk though. He's not gonna be he's not gonna be chalk chalk. I don't want to give too much away, but I will say this. This is the first time on uh, Lineup HQ that I have seen a player with five icons. He's got the core cash GPP conviction play and the salary relief. Who's doing the conviction plays oh, this that's week? Da- that's David Montgomery though, right? David, David not, Montgomery. Not Ronald, yeah. Ronald I heard the, only has two. I heard the devs actually had to extend the column width just <laughs> for all of these. Everyone's trying to get stickers in there. Yeah, that's never happened can, in college football before. I, I it has to have. Nothing can go wrong with uh, with something. Wait, so we have we have three people with conviction plays. So who actually tagged him? Uh, this would be Kyle Murray, the, uh, uh-huh. the young oh, up and comer. Versus Kyle. That's uh-huh. the best correlation you ever have. You you Kyle Murray's bring back pick Ronald Jones. Yeah. Hello. All right, so we got Jones Davis. You want to throw a player in there? Um. Yeah, I mean, we should just go with the best wide receiver in fantasy football this season, Mike Evans. I thought you were going to say Michael Thomas. Don't you listen to my wildly popular podcast? I actually did listen to that one with you and Leone going back and forth. I'm on uh, definitely. Only, I mean, hey, look, we only argued about, uh, you know, like decimal projections for like 20 minutes. It was a pretty good listen, I think. Hey, Mike Evans, two monster games. No reason he can't go for three. Buy high model, lock him yep. in. <laughs> buy, buy high model. Oh, that's buy high model. He is. What about uh, what about uh, this is a cornerback matchup? I do actually know you guys. Mike Evans is going to be covered by Patrick Peterson. Do you like that? Do you like that? Do you like that hand in the dirt analysis there? <laughs> <laughs> Davis, can you, you're a little bit hot in the mic. Can you just like? Yeah, but uh, you're too excited. There you go. That's good. Chris Godwin's on the buy low model though, so this will oh. be a real test if to see what's better if it's going to be the buy. Oh no, high over model Zets overview. What do we do? Buy high, mm. baby. Always buy high. The, the buy low model is literally dead. Rest in peace, Frisco. <laughs> All right. Um, it's my turn, and I'm going to stay on brand here. But this is actually a good play, and I feel like the other. Brand play was good as well. Preston Williams, I want to say RIP, pouring out one for you uh, right now. And now we have um, AJ Green light, and that is Mr. Devontae Parker. Oh my, I was like, <laughs> I've literally been waiting for this, and I knew it was going to happen, and I'm still mad about it. 
Why were you waiting for David, it? come on, man. Because you, like, I, I am positive the moment that the Preston Williams news broke, your your little L-King face just, like, started to get so <laughs> giddy in excitement, and you were like, oh, this is it. This no, is it. No, because I was on Team Preston Williams. Like, I, like... He, I've played him this year. He's on my dynasty team, Davis. You know how that goes. I've heard your podcast before. Um, so that's like, I was team. Oh, in, Williams. in our, in our league. That's, yeah, uh, that's in, still yeah, going in the Superflex league. So, um, I was sad, but my love for Devontae Parker is now reignited and it feels so good. <sighs> so 4.8, I know that's a lot, but when you get double digit targets, and uh, they're from Fitzmagic. You got to play them. So Kitchen just ruining a good team. <clears throat> Listen, you gave us Some Ronald Jones change. chalk, so I don't want to hear it. All right, Johnny's not going to be chalk chalk. Peter, Travis, Kelsey, play the good place. Play the good place. Just play him. Even don't though he's a it. And this is uh, just like we still have lots of salary left for these mid-priced. Player. Sorry, Tuttle. Um, I'm trying to see how chalk I want to go with the mm. with the rest of the lineup here. Mm. All right, if you just if you go like, say for some reason you want to go Browns defense at home versus Buffalo, you have sixty three fifty left per player. I was really sharp recommending the Browns defense last week. So <laughs> yeah. That, that, How does it yeah. feel that the Browns defense is going to be chalk this week? Yeah, that's just because of the price tag. It's not because they're actually good. It's because they play. It's because they play uh, Mr. Turnover. Okay, let us go with. I was really wishing that we could jam that in. All right, uh, Davis, you want to take a shot? <laughs> <at us? laughs> I don't have so so. Nope, nope, uh, nope, there, nope, there's nope, an extremely nope, obvious nope, play here, and nope, I can't believe Dan nope. can't find it. Well, I nope. mean, Dan will give another ten minutes. Dan will find nope, it eventually. Nope, the nope, the play nope, the play is Damian nope. Williams, and it's a lot. <laughs> nope. I was gonna say I was actually thinking about going team by high with Damian Williams. No. On a pair. It's not even team by high. It's team starting running back for the. Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes back. I mean, this okay. hasn't happened at all earlier this season either. Yeah, you can't go the, the, wrong. I mean, the Chiefs. If we if we just look at the last week's snap rates, the Chiefs. Are Damian just scores a touch. Damian just scores a touchdown every week, though. So as long as you you he start does, him, yeah. you start him at six points, and then you build your projection from there. I played all him right. on like his seven snap re- week. All right. So if but he scored, we're, I not, bet. we're not going. To, we're we're chalking it up with Jalen Samuels. All right. We just play the good plays. Good and plays. if you go Jalen Samuels, then guess who's left over. Looks Derek, like a Derrick Henry guy. Derrick Henry in the flex spot. So there you go. All right, but we're not going to put him in there because you can't do that on DraftKings. Let's uh, let's move to any more quarterback takes before we move on to running back, Davis. So in, in case nobody no, figured out the lineup, it's Kyler Murray, Ronald Jones, mm-hmm. no, Jalen Samuels, we can't, Christian we Kirk, can't Mike Evans, that. and Devontae Parker. Schmerick, Fenry. Derrick Henry, <laughs> Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Um, so quarterback, I think, is really interesting this week. Most weeks I try and double stack with every quarterback that I play. I think that that's probably not optimal this week because, uh, yeah, in cash. Obviously, all these are cash yeah. takes. Um, so if you just look at guys who are, like, projected positive values, we have Kyler, we have Jameis, we have Lamar, and we have healthy Mahomes. And then probably Drew Brees, but of course, you know, there's not really a second wide receiver or tight end to double stack Brees with. And then you go down a little bit more, and, you know, Brissett, if he plays, is going to be questionable. And then Brian Hoyer is it's just amazing stuff from DraftKings. Brian Hoyer, 5,900. You just, you love, you love to see, um, the consistency in pricing on DraftKings. And then, uh, <laughs> That's why other I switched than that, to FanDuel, honestly. I just want a more consistent <laughs> pricing algorithm. <laughs> and then, and then quarterback in between five and six K, it's completely dead. You know, Daniel Jones, Ryan Fitzpatrick, uh, I'm, I will, I will not endorse any of this Mitch Trubisky talk. There are people in the industry out there. They're touting it. They're they're going like, blah, 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 blah. don't do it, man. Do not do that to yourself. So I, I think my quarterback player pool, one, is going to be super thin this week, like maybe only five guys. And two, I probably am only double stacking Jameis and Kyler and probably not forcing it with Drew Brees, uh, probably not forcing a stack at all with Lamar. 
And I, yeah, it might, might just be very thin at the quarterback position this week. All right, Davis. Um, two weeks ago, you played a cheap quarterback and you, you, no, you played an expensive quarterback and you were it. Yeah. Oh, he was so mad. He was so mad. He was I like, was I really mad. Just, I should just played a cheap quarterback. Last week, he played Russell Wilson, <laughs> who is not. Yeah, because cheap. you can't, you can't. Like you just get emotional and tilting in the moment, and you just can't hold yourself to that forever. Like if I if if yeah, I okay. could if I, I could never play, play out of that. Life. if I could never play all the guys I said I'll never play again, I literally would have to self exclude from DraftKings. Like it's just I've tilted every athlete in the universe. All right, so give us one cheap play, quarterback play. Well, I mean boots on the ground, dude. It's Ryan Tannehill. Right. I mean, he he would be the the cheap QB play if yeah. uh, if you had to if you had to do one. However, I think they might be missing Corey Davis this week. And yeah, he has not practiced yet. Delaney Walker. So they're going to be they're, they're going to be slim. So what you're but, saying is Johnny Smith is a lock. Johnny Smith, AJ Brown, I guess. But if, in reality, we'll probably see like a Ferks or Rando TD, or maybe like Deion Lewis will come to life. Uh, some, it'll be something random, but. Tannehill at 5.1K is is probably the, the value play. All right, let's move on to running back. And, uh, Tuttle, you give us the David Montgomery take because he is, like, he's going to be chalky of all chalk against Detroit. Yeah, I mean, he's a bell cow, potentially in a positive game script at home against a poor rush defense, and he's cheap. That's about – that's about the story there. You, um, you got to give him the negative boost for being the fattest, slowest, loserest <laughs> running back in the NFL, though. He's so cheap. I mean, he's he's fine, Chalk. He's no, he is not fine. I I I'm gonna chalk. play him. I'm I'm leaving my. I, I might play him in cash. I'm not playing him in MME at all. I I'm just I'm just not playing him. He's fine, Chalk. All right. Let's uh let's move I mean, on. You, you can't. Why would you play him in, in you know, in, in multi-entry when you could get like 28 points or something like that for 5,300? Total, I'd like to book the under on 28 DraftKings points <laughs> yeah. for David Montgomery with you. Um, can I uh, mention someone that I think is going to fly a little bit under the radar? I would love it. And I don't oh, know how much. Oh, we're talking ownership. Uh, well, a little bit, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, the Packers are 26 versus the run. And I think this sets up really well for Christian McCaffrey this week. (laughs) (laughs) It's an okay play, you think? How how much is he on DraftKings? (laughs) 10.5. He's the same price on FanDuel. Who would have thunk it? I yeah. love him this week though. It is it is crazy though. Like last week, because there was uh such an easy cheap play, he was chalk. Well, not chalk, but like owned and like sixty percent of cash games. But this week, because there's no free square like that, uh, I, I think he's going to be closer to like like I, he will not be owned by half of teams in double ups. Last week he wasn't owned by half of teams in double ups. He was like he was well, he was fifty nine percent in the twenty five dollar massive single entry double up. All right, so barely he was. That's what he was in. He, McCaffrey was twenty five percent in the Millie Maker or twenty two percent, I think it was in the Millie Maker. Aaron yeah. Jones was higher on the Christian McCaffrey <clears throat> last week. Yeah. <clears throat> so it just, it, but to your point, like you you have to sacrifice. You probably have to sacrifice the the Mike Evans wide receiver play. Uh, or yeah, Michael Thomas and uh, or whoever you're I playing. Mean, I just – Mike Evans is on the buy-high model. Yeah, he is. And you have to play Ronald Jones. You can still play David Montgomery with them. But – I don't think you – I do not think that you have to play Ronald Jones, just FYI. <laughs> okay. Like, I'm going to, but there are a lot of outs <laughs> for Ronald Jones having, like, four DraftKings points. No, I, I agree. I, I In fact, I probably won't be playing Ronald Jones. Um but I'm saying if you played Christian McCaffrey, you're kind of forced into playing cheap running back like Ronald Jones, or or going really cheap. But here's here is the question. Now we got this Jets and Giants game, Davis, with two bad teams, mm-hmm. and you've got Le'Veon Bell if he plays, which I'm assuming he does. He's six point nine k. He actually kind of got there in garbage time last week. Um, but yeah, I think he had four catches on the final drive. I was tilting. Um, and we're tilting for me. 
And then you got on the opposite side, obviously, Saquon, who is almost 2K cheaper. He looks, like, so bad. Like, it's crazy. Like, what? He had the he had the 65 yard screen pass, but on every other of his attempts, he just like looked horrible. I'm think, like I'm sure he's think, I'm sure he's fine, but like like he you got tripped up like six times behind the line of scrimmage. I feel is like it, this is your running backs don't matter bias like leaking into this. What he's probably just still hurt. Is it true you've been called Saquon skinnier Fournette? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, the, the thing that's, the thing that's funny is that Saquon had the same thing happen to him that always happens to Fournette, which is he busted off a 65 yarder and got tackled before he got to the end zone. He's just slowing down so he can stiff arm someone for the ESPN highlight. So that, so that someone can take the video and quote teed it with Saquon matters. I love, <laughs> I love those people on Twitter that like find the highlight run and are like, people say this guy doesn't matter, bro. My, my favorite quote tweet on plays like that is, this is a grown-ass man. <laughs> this is a grown-ass man. <laughs> Tuttle, <laughs> Tuttle's just not, he is not entertained right now. Oh, I'm, I'm just over here talking ownership on the side with, uh, with Jamino. Okay, uh, Marlon Mack, Tuttle, can you give us the Marlon Mack take? He is the discussion, or we've, we've talked about, Marlon Max ownership some a little bit. Um, what do you guys think? Is he get is, people hate playing Marlon Max? Well, he's, he's a seven, he's a he's, he's a better play on no don't FanDuel. take my line. That was <laughs> he is, my he is. line. He is a better play on FanDuel, <laughs> undoubtedly. I, on DraftKings ownership, what do you think? Under ten percent for sure. No, no, uh, Davis, not, against, not uh, at home against Miami. Yeah. So we got, we got, we, we, we had got his highest owned running back, which we, we were not on that anymore. We, he, that was, so we have automated ownership projections and then we kind of right. massage him from there. We, we took Marlon Mack down from highest owned, but we still have, um, third highest owned at about 18%. Right now. I know. I know. I think that's probably pretty fair. Yeah. You have him tied with Ronald Jones. Yeah, we're we're working. That's what we've been chatting through on the side. We're working through some massaging this. We, does, we just threw him down a little bit. But does Chris know that you're also on an entertainment based show right now? Or? <laughs> this was my fault. I an, an, an entertainment based show. That's the kindest thing anyone's ever said about this whole cast. I think. I think I think ownership dis- discussion is interesting though. I, yeah, I think different be. viewpoints. Yeah. Are well, Peter's Peter's not allowed to partake though. Yeah, because oh. he's only playing on FanDuel, so we don't care what you say, Peter. I just play the best plays. He just yeah. plays the best plays. All right. But uh, Marlon Mack at home against Marlins. I mean, it's it's self explanatory against self explanatory. He, he he just dropped he just dropped the Marlins. That was pretty great. Uh, did I say Marlins? Yeah, yeah. With Marlon Mack versus the Marlins. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing is with Marlon Mack and why I don't think he's going to be the highest owned running back is he's what essentially the same play as David Montgomery. But I don't even think he will be in the three most owned running more. backs. No, uh, he, yeah, he'll be, I think he'll be in that 15 to 20 percent range for sure. But, uh, you like have... I said, Montgomery's, Montgomery's gonna be, end up being higher owned and he's $1,700 less than, than. Wouldn't you rather have Jalen Samuels than Marlon Mack? <laughs> I think, I think so. I think Jalen is. 18 DraftKings points, probably. Okay, he's going to get 15 <laughs> With 15 receptions. 15 catches, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, 15 catches for 45 yards. And then Tony Brooks James is going to see 13 carries. I just added Tony Brooks James in uh my Dynasty League, one of my Dynasty Leagues. So, you know, just All I'm right. out here grinding, really. All right, Peter, give us the uh, give us the Derrick Henry take. He's a great play on FanDuel. That's right, yeah. <laughs> um, I do like him. Uh the Chiefs, as Davis knows, are 28th against the run That's how this you beat season. Them. And uh, the other thing that was nice about Derrick Henry, this is this is real talk, mm-hmm. is they were down last week against the Panthers, and you worry about okay, are they going to bring Deion Lewis in? Negative script. No, they committed to him in the second half and really fed him. So that takes away some of the concerns. I think, Deion Lewis the also fumbled up. last week yeah. as well. Thank you. Boots on the ground. Uh, Boots on the ground. <laughs> So yeah, no, I like uh I like playing uh Mahomes teams with Henry on the bring back. Um and anybody on Alvin Kamara if he plays this week? Oh oh is anyone on Alvin Kamara? 
Anyone, is anyone on that guy? He's a pretty good play on DraftKings, I think. I don't I'm, think he'll be high owned. He's, he's not like a he's like a lock. You no. think a guy coming off injury with all these other running back options we talked about is a lock? He could have played the week before their bye. He's been he's been resting up. I definitely think he's a good play. Uh, the Blitz loves him. Oh, he does. Yeah, he is the highest. He is projected for more DraftKings points than Christian McCaffrey well, the, on DailyRoto.com. The thing is, projection systems oh, are just Tuttle's assuming. Tuttle's got himself on mute. Love to see it. No, I'm you're not, not on mute. mute. I'm not on mute. I'm hearing him. Did my headphones just die? Good job, Davis. <laughs> no. Jeez, this job. is a dream come true. Millennial in their AirPods. Yeah. Davis is Tough just now. <laughs> <laughs> he can't hear us. This is great. Davis. Yeah. Davis. <laughs> what a fish. What a fish. Oh, Tuttle's on mute. Blah, blah. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, Tried to ah. troubleshoot. Oh, oh these oh, AirPods. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Something's wrong with these AirPods? $150 on these things and they don't work. I oh. broke even in GPPs this week. Okay, so I'll just say my point without Davis listing about Alvin Kamara is that projection systems are going to have him for a fairly high market share of rushes, which he's probably not going to see as much. We saw Latavius Murray is extremely capable of of handling a bigger load than he saw earlier in the season. There's no reason to give Kamara 60 to 70 percent of running back touches in this in this spot. So yeah, uh, Kamara's popping in projection systems just because he's being over projected for workload. All right. Bang bang, Derek Cardi, update your <laughs> shit. Oh, truly blitzed. Uh, um, we'll and again, just a shout out for the projections, Derek Cardi, the, the blitz projections. He does update them as the week goes on. Um, and with all the yeah, he's really news. rigorous about it. Oh, Davis, you can hear us now. Yeah. Oh man. Good job, Davis. <laughs> but, are you, but are you I like listening? swear I like swore you guys were messing with me. Oh too so mute. <laughs> oh. You hate to see hate it. Hate to see it. <laughs> I think <laughs> You hate to see it. <laughs> I think of these AirPods, like they just <laughs> I'm buying new Air- time to buy new AirPods with the, I gotta uh, I gotta go I gotta go ahead. I gotta go buy the AirPod Max now. The, I'm the guessing came out. Uh, yes, 250 bucks, but uh, good, on good deal, a steal at any price on Amazon. You can get them for 235. Hey, I can I can write it I can write it off though. So yeah, with that along with that mic that we gave you. All right, uh, let's go. This was to a gift, watch. bro. <laughs> By the way, shout out to Davis. I would just want to, before we move to wire receiver, shout out to Davis. whenever Davis messages me, he, this has like been a thing for the past six or seven years since I've known him. It's, it's because he needs something. It's because he wants something. Guess who messaged me this week? Week 10 of the NFL season. And his question was, uh, hey man, uh, do you know, do you know my pay rate for this full cast? <laughs> We're in week. We're in week. I, I had I had forgotten I got paid to do this. We are in week. He just had too much NFL fun. Season. He was having so much fun. And he expects soccer dad to keep up with how much he gets paid to do this show, which which honestly should not be a lot of money. Soccer payroll. Yeah. So. Literally, literally, this show is a bargain at any price. All right. So let's move on to wide receiver. Let's talk about Michael oh. Tom. All right, go ahead, Dan. I know it's going to be good. Pay, pay rate just reminded me of a YouTube. I didn't check all the YouTube comments last week, but one of the early ones was, and I pay for this show. Yeah. <laughs> so a guy on the free YouTube comment section. I've, you need to learn how to work the Internet there, buddy. <laughs> I also got uh, compared to a first take host, uh, a female first take host, and <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Molly, yeah. Wait, can we talk about the other one that said I can't watch this show because I want to punch the little druggie's face in the bottom left? <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> Tough scene. Right, uh, wide receiver. Let's talk about. Let's, it, does anybody have any hesitations about Christian Kirk? If if you do, yes, I have very real hesitations about Christian Kirk. Okay. If he's actually playing outside instead of the slot where he just gets all of those easy targets, I have very real concerns about that because Kyler. Uh, I mean, I love him, but he just takes the easy throw a lot of the time. He just takes whatever is not going to turn into an interception or turn into an incompletion. We've seen this happen a bunch. He had a game with 31 completions and under 200 passing yards. 
So like, if if Kirk is like running fly routes the whole game, I have very real concerns. All right, uh, now I'm going to ask you a question. Give you three receivers, and it's not um, FMK. It is who would you rather have, Michael Thomas, Mike Evans, or Chris Godwin? You know who he's going to say, Dave. No, it's Michael Thomas, but it, it pains me to say it. Ooh. All right. Uh, Tuttle? Yeah, it's Michael Thomas. And Overzet, can we get a three for three? Yeah, Michael Thomas, best play. Best right. play. What's his play? play best play. 8,700. 8,700. So he is 100 more than, than Mike Evans. Yep, and Godwin coming in at 82. All right. So now the question is, Tyree Kill, if Mahomes plays – would you put Tyree Kill in that conversation, or is he GPP only, Tuttle? GPP. His price tag is too high for what he is. Yeah. On FanDuel, he's 8K, so it's not that bad because he's a big play receiver. The Chiefs' oh. price tag that is cheap. Sammy? Sammy season? Sam Watkins at 5.1? Oh, dude. They're just, they are just, it's like the Lucy with the football with this guy. It's just, he's, he's so easy. He's right there as a great pivot in tournaments off of, uh, really chalk spots. And you just know nine targets, four catches, 37 yards. Like it's just, it's perfect. Is this a boots on the ground? Do you spot him at Whole Foods the other day? <laughs> no, this is a, this is a head and this is a head in the sand tilt take. <laughs> All right, um, Davis, what's your take on the Miami Dolphins receivers? Because they are in play on DraftKings. You just uh, have to pick Gis- one. Gesicki is the best play on the Miami Dolphins this week, and all the rest of them are, like, very small sprinkles at best. And, and actually, I will say, I will not be playing any of the, uh, the uh, like, secondary guys. So, like, uh, Albert Wilson, Jakeem Grant, Alan Hearns, not playing – not playing any of those guys. Okay, but who's, you who's are the guy that steps up. You are playing Devontae Parker, though. I will allow him in mm. my mix, but I'm not. <laughs> give us like, the I'm percentage, what? Davis. Give us the percentage, please. Fifteen <laughs> percent. Well, that's a, I What's, mean, that's what rules will you include with your yeah. <laughs> No, I mean no, no Dolphins rules. Well, I'll max one, max one, I'll max Gisicki, one Devontae Parker, and then I'll, one uh, I'll exclude uh, herds. And uh, I, I, I don't. I really hope that I don't get any herns. If I, if I get any herns in whatever I run on Daily Roto, it's going to mean something is broken. <laughs> Jakeem Grant might be a pretty good, terrible take this week, huh? Oh man, one of those, yeah. one of those Miami receivers is going off. One of those. Minimum- Here's the thing. No, they're not because Miami's horrible, <laughs> and Ryan Fitzpatrick can trick you into thinking he's good, but he's not. Like it's much more likely they have 137 yards passing and three interceptions than it is that Jakeem Grant goes off. I'll take the over on the 137. I mean, I'll take I, whatever he's whatever he is projected at Sunday morning on Daily Roto. I will give you the under no, on those fantasy that, points. Just just pull it up now. Pull it up now. Lock it in. Let's lock it in. I don't know. I don't know what your what news you're waiting on where it would change your mind on well, Ryan. The projections just get worked on and they and they respond to the changes okay. in the team totals. Okay. <laughs> All right. He wants the sharpest. Yeah, well, impossible. Right? Yeah, Socrates. for the Miami Dolphins quarterback situation. All right, so let's move on. All right, well, here, how about this? How about this? Instead, I will allow you – well, no, okay. It's He is 13.7 <laughs> DraftKings points. All right, I'll take the over. Jakeem Grant is? No, no Fitzpatrick, no, Fitzpatrick is. Fitzpatrick. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> there, is, there is one quarterback projected for less DraftKings points than Ryan Fitzpatrick. Does anyone want to guess who it is? <laughs> Ryan Finley. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> He's Dude, Fitzpatrick's a lock for over 13. Yeah, Davis, I'll take that any day. Lock city. Any day. Yeah, lock, probably. <laughs> All right, you do 25 for 14. I'll give you a few yards. All right, cool. But right, 14. That way you've got and a little now, bit of And you know, you know I'm running a little bit better now, but if uh, if I lose this week, you'll know how my week goes if I message you like Sunday afternoon, like, hey, <laughs> kitchen, bro, <laughs> hit my Venmo. <laughs> like, like you did with me. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. That was after like my fourth consecutive losing week. I'm like I'm like cashing in crowns to enter in showdown on Sunday night, like messaging Tuttle, like, hey, bro, uh, did you see Drew Brees' ownership? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, other receivers that you like, Peter. I like... Stefan Diggs. Who's projected no, for the most points? 
Uh, I, it doesn't matter. I don't think Adam Thielen's going to play. Stephon Diggs, alpha, wide receiver one, 7,500 on FanDuel. I like him. Uh, I like going back to act- – Current Peter doesn't like this, but Galaxy Brain Peter likes going back to Robbie Anderson. Uh, yeah. Cooper Cup might fly under the radar this week well, a little bit, too. It, it, it took me a, a, a little bit. Why are we talking about Stefan Diggs? Because I like him. Is he on the main slate? He's not on the main slate. Dude, but, this uh... is the Blitz, man. He <laughs> Dude, he is – no, no, that's literally Silva. Like, it was Silva, like, not knowing it. He's, he's just playing his character. <laughs> I'm just like, Adam. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm going to have to play some prices, thir- seeing some... why the feeling's not there at 7,100. I'm going to play some Thursday to Monday FanDuel slate so I can get some digs exposure. <laughs> Mel, I think Melvin Gordon's a good player. That is, that is actually <laughs> another thing. All, all these donkeys in these Thursday to Monday games aren't gonna have Seth on digs. I mean, this is like, this is like a seven years ago take back when you used to be able to see the ownership projections on FanDuel oh, that, for the those, Thursday yeah, slate that, that locked. Yeah. Oh. Well, see all the head to heads of the sharpest guys. People don't even know, bro. Like, they don't even remember how crazy DFS used to be. Those were the good old days. I'm so committed to just playing the best plays, I don't even care who's on the slate. <laughs> shout out, shout out fantasyup.com. <laughs> that, that'll be a very good TBT for those who remember. Uh, I remember that? Fantasy Up. Dan Wahoo. Dan Wahoo. <laughs> Played on his own site. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Soccer Dave brought him on some F5 shows. <laughs> hey, man, you want to hey, come anything, on some, anything, some NBA? Anything to save Fantasy Insiders, bro. All right. Uh, First sight to have an optimizer. Dave, <laughs> <laughs> Wolves in sheep clothing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Speaking of t- speaking of uh, tanking uh, teams, Davis, you've have you heard Wait, of Daryl? What's that segue, Dave? What what were we talking about related to tanking teams? Fantasy oh, insiders, fantasy insiders. Tanking teams. <laughs> tanking side. I had to I had to tank fi so I could get zero. <laughs> it's a pretty easy segue for those that have a brain. All right. Uh, Daryl Roberts now on the injury report. I think he's going to be out uh, this week. And the Jets secondary is just – Who is Daryl Roberts? <laughs> I've never heard that guy in my I knew life. you what I was I'm almost like going to ask I'm like typing in his Davis. name to make sure I didn't miss a receiver. <laughs> I was almost going to Can we all Darryl, Google it together? <laughs> Daryl Roberts is a defensive player? Yes. <laughs> For who? The Jets. Duh. What, you, what, what position said. does he play? He's a cornerback. Is he a good cornerback? Uh, so basically the Jets only have like four healthy people, uh, fil- on defense. Yeah. They, they are, they are like com- total dust on the, de- I, I knew that just cause, uh, they have, uh, who's that linebacker they have that's really good? Mosley. <laughs> this, this yeah, show it, is it just is. <laughs> us seeing if we can collectively who, name the 10 defensive guy? players Mosley. we know. Who's that Mosley guy? I mean, if I could, if I can name on anyone not on Kansas City or Dallas, if I yes. could name more than like four defensive players, I would, I would consider that a slam dunk. Yes. Okay. Daryl, Daryl Roberts this season has, season uh, 53 coverage grade on pro, pro football focus. I'm not, not very good. Um, yeah, yeah he's not he was, very, he's not very good. So I'm was, sure his loss is going to be very, <laughs> very detrimental to this. Well, the same thing is they, they don't just any, Jets wide receivers that you like this week is basically the question. Because you've got Golden Tate at 5,900 and then the rest are like dirt cheap. Nope, we don't want to target this Jets team. Daryl Roberts has also only played 39 <laughs> snaps in the slot, so his, he would have no effect on Golden Tate. Oh, kitchen, just kitchen. I think like, I no, think he, this matter. is my theory. I think Kitchen watches the NFL Network like at the gym, like on the treadmill or something. Daryl Roberts catches, is out this he week. He catches a name here or there, and he like no. writes it in the notes app on his Samsung that also has the wallet case with all his cards. Yeah, and uh, he just like is ready to drop like one to three defensive players' names for sure. I think the, I think the funniest thing you said was that it would be at a gym on the, the treadmill. 
Uh, but oh, no, QB I said cream, aside, cheese, cream cheese and bacon said, with, his, with his keto diet. I said, aside from Golden Tate, is there any cheap wide receivers that you like this week? I okay, so now my team. now my terrible take has to be Darius Slayton with all the yes. lead up. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean Daryl Roberts out. That's huge for Slayton, yeah. bro. Darius, if Daryl Roberts out, Darius Slayton smash week. There are crazy amounts of good cheap wide receivers this week, though. Yeah, on the Dolphins and. Like Josh I Reynolds. mean, Wa- Watkins, DJ Moore, Curtis Samuel, uh, Tyler Boyd, like, uh, Auden Tate, like a lot of these guys are playable. Zach right. Pascal at 5300, I think is pretty good. Josh, I mean, how have we gotten this far into the show and not talked about Josh Reynolds? I mean, this used to be one fault. of the, this used to be one of the biggest debate points between me and Tuttle. Like we would go back and forth about this on Sunday morning for like an hour. About what? About Everett Josh Reynolds. Reynolds. Yes, I was just uh, playing in my head or trying to figure out how you would pay the top price on by the top of Zach Pascal. That is just like an anti Davis Matic move right there. I mean, dude, he just is getting the T. Like he just is playing T. Y. Hilton's position, he's and he's T-Y playing the Dolphins. <laughs> Brian Hoyer, baby, Hoyer to Pascal stacks. <laughs> All right, uh, let's let's play the squeaky wheel game because Odell is not going to be owned at all. He's this is force, uh, force fed, right? And you had Baker say earlier today that they have to start the game getting in the ball instead of like looking for the perfect time later on in the game. Like they've got to start getting the ball. So his price tag is very very cheap. And, uh, you know, you could maybe capitalize off of that, Davis. I mean, yeah, if you're, if you're not playing Odell Beckham in GPPs this week, DFS might not be for you. So Peter, you, you, uh, you think about that. Do I matchups think, matter? The, he is only 6,900 on FanDuel, which nice. is very nice. Nice. Uh, but he fails mm-hmm. so, so poorly in the buy high model. I the mean, buy he, high, yeah, he's, 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 like, got, like he's at the bottom of the buy high model, I think. Yeah. Can't do it. All right, any cheap receivers on FanDuel you like, Peter? Isn't every wide receiver yeah, cheap, on FanDuel? cheap on FanDuel? <laughs> the uh, <laughs> Davis's animated corpse of Larry Fitzgerald's only 5,400. Calvin Ridley is 5,300 if you think Matt Ryan's going to have any time to get the ball out. And I'm not going any grosser than that because I just play good plays. Like Devontae Parker. I don't need, I don't know how much he is on FanDuel. He is uh, 58, 5,800. DJ Moore, 58. <clears throat> All right, let's move on to uh, Brown, 53. Why does every fantasy site hate DJ Moore? And also, why does DJ Moore hate himself and refuse to score touchdowns? <laughs> he almost had one games. last week. And then he just got down to the one and uh, let Christian just McCaffrey crumbled. have it? Yeah. yeah. Curtis Samuel also almost had one, which was impressive because he's not even that fast. <laughs> All right, um, tight ends. All right, uh, is Red Ellison a good play? Peter, does he pass the good play test? No. Oh. I mean, but you, you cash donkeys, sure. What do you need? You need some salary <laughs> relief so you can pay like, 10500 for McCaffrey? Sure. Punt it off with Red Ellison. You guys will have a field day tilting that one. <laughs> Would you rather play Red Ellison or O.J. Howard? The bullet. I, <laughs> I think I'd rather play Mike Gesicki over both of them. I love how confident you are in Mike Gesicki now after this past game. You are on the buy high model. Dude, it was just, it was just the Silva tweet where he does the, he does the, um, the, uh, asterisks. Anytime Silva gets the asterisks out, you know he's like really serious about making a point. (laughs) And also like he really gets his hand in the dirt with the final one where he's like, dude, Ryan Fitzpatrick really throws him the ball in the seam, really trusts him to make plays up the seam. And then you're like, oh man, Silva's been grinding the film, bro. About to tweet out a bunch of asterisks. <laughs> uh, OJ OJ Howard at four per, at four percent ownership. What if this is the week? Um, I mean, you can't beat the flow chart. Like what? Like, but the floor there's chart also tight another end tight end. Is Tanner Hudson. Yeah, he might be. He might be the terrible terrible take. Tanner Hudson. To to troll the AJ Howard. That would Tanner AJ Hudson Howard. scoring. It would, it would really be great. Like, Tanner Hudson be... is our generation's Jacob Hollister. <laughs> he's, he's gonna, uh, Hudson's going to run routes out there. If, he's uh, he's going to get time. If Hudson scores, I'll release the photo of me wearing a Hudson newsstand t-shirt. 
That was so bad. bad. We couldn't possibly was, be as good as the Hollister was, photo. Uh, Peter, that was your worst joke you've ever had. Yeah, I just continued on. With that. <laughs> I, I honestly, I honestly wish I was having a off the side combo about ownership projections right now. <laughs> well, uh, I actually have the perfect one for you. Okay. We we got talked to by the boss man for this one. Because DraftKings, who will be the highest owned tight end? Travis Kelsey. Anybody else? I don't play there. Um, I mean, I, I feel like I'd be cheating if I said it because I, I pulled up the ownership projections. I have the uh, Austin, who, who Austin do, who Hooper. Do you, who do you think will be the highest owned? Um, I think the highest owned would be – it depends on injury news – but I, I could definitely see. This Johnny. is an all-time waffle, dude. Just like, what are you doing? Just say a name. <laughs> just say, yeah, just say a name. Kelsey. So Kelsey, who do you think between Austin Hooper and Mark Andrews, who will be the highest owned? Hooper. Hooper. You guys had Andrews. We had Andrews. Yeah. Yeah. Not a chance. I think the people game, are down on the, him. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that, that's, see, that's the DFS Twitter circle jerk. State, no, no, no. That... That's the Monday night football dud. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, but, he had a he had a decreased role against the Patriots. Blah 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 blah. But people and, who aren't on DFS Twitter are the ones watching that Monday night football game too. Yeah, fair. Guess I'm with side boss man here. <laughs> What's my boss pay man? rate for we, the small yeah. cast boss yeah, man? We had, we had Andrew. We here, got whatever him, we they're paying you, buddy, now, it's but... not enough. <laughs> You know, you know when we had Silva here, uh, the the head boss man won a million dollars off of our off of our show. Yeah, my off George of, Kittle uh, take. Off of Demir, off of Demir Bird. Uh, no, it was my George no, Kittle take. Jo- well, I think it was Silva's George. What's it? It was my had- George Kittle take. Hundred <laughs> percent. Don't Funny, even. We all like this George Kittle. Kittle we take. all, yeah. It was kind of like a collective George Kittle no, take. I think. No, this was back when he was like twenty five hundred. All right. Yeah. That was the Aaron Jones lineup, right? And then he jammed in all the high price wide receivers with Kittle, I think. Yes, and Kittle was 2,500 against the Colts. That was a terrible take. That was the beginning of really the terrible take. Um, and after that, <laughs> that was like just a once in a lifetime thing. Cause outside yeah, be of nice I mean, to... we did, we did tout Demir Bird in the only game in his career where he scored a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, that was it. The Vance um, McDonald one it goes down there in the yeah, as well. I will say for tight ends, if um, if Delaney and Corey Davis are out, the like who think I don't even know who Tannehill's going to throw the ball to. So I guess Johnny Smith would be oh, I there. Guess. I guess uh, I'll tell the Titan. Rhett, All- Rhett Ellison at two point five k. Like Davis is not here to talk about him, but we have like, talked so much about Rhett. Ellison I know, but like how so. how 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 safe is he, Tuttle? Um, he's twenty five hundred. Who cares? Do you think he's gonna be playing the Evan Ingram role? No. What what week was Ingram out? Seven. Week seven. <laughs> you, you just you said actually, a number. Yeah. It, 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 I, I mean, it, it, it might have been actually. Yeah. Or were they on a bye week in week seven? This is not our best show. No. This oh, is okay. a great show. Thank you very much. No, Rhett, and, and people Rhett don't Ellison even know that Davis the, is left. This is Allison the, caught the touchdown <laughs> in the flow chart touchdown. In yeah, I guess the Cardinals. Yeah. Yeah. So week six was the was the Red Allison week. Red Allison ran a snap or ran around on twenty six of thirty four Jones dropbacks. Um, I don't know. He's twenty five hundred. Welcome back, Davis. We're still talking about Red Allison. <laughs> David, I, I literally, it. I was gonna die if I didn't pee. I think. I just go in a cup under the t- under the bed. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the natural slugger move. I don't have that in me. <laughs> All right, uh, from small bladders to Fanduel lineups, let's pull up Fanduel. Let's go, let's go, Fanduel. This is your moment. This is your time to shine. I want to so, go last though because I did take the wheel on that that DK right. one. All right, so Davis, we'll let you go first. So this is a cash lineup, mm-hmm. and uh, I think that we should just – do we want to try and jam CMC? I mean, if that's what you – Davis, you you get to pick. This is not a collective thing. It's your pick. So FanDuel.com, NFL. Uh, oh, that's, that's what it is. You don't have it pulled up. Davis no, doesn't have FanDuel pulled up. Time. Let's, go, uh, let's go Marlon Mack, 7,400. 
Got to go Marlon Mack. All right. Tuttle? Got to do it when you can, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm Marlon in- Mack is a better play on FanDuel than DraftKings, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enter this into the uh, Roto-Grinders single entry series on FanDuel.com. So we don't have Christian McCaffrey, right? If that was the first pick. No. All right, I'm going to go with Stefan Diggs. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> hey, Tuttle, um, you want to split a Thursday to Monday high stakes? Let's <laughs> do this. Um, I'll do. Uh, do, they, do they have a hundred dollar entry? I'll split one with you, Pete. Let's do it, dude. You want to uh, want some of my fish to rub off on you? We'll do it. <laughs> I take I'll, no prisoners. I'm gonna pair uh, Lamar with uh, Marquise Brown. Love it. Nice. Lamar better on FanDuel where they don't have the uh, the 300 yard bonus for passing. In this game, like if there was a week for Marquise Brown to get loose, this would be it. What is FanDuel pricing? Like what? It's just, like, <laughs> it's, it's just it's just keep the wide receivers at the same price all season long. That's that's the pricing. Watch your mouth, okay? This is like talking like, about my family. I like swear it's just like randomly assigned. Like some right, guys who do. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, and here's the beautiful thing about playing on FanDuel the is fish. that the fish, there's so many it's fish. It's unbelievable. And you open up like a head-to-head, and like you're like, what? Like how did you even get there? Like how does that kind Like of- people who play like Ryan Fitzpatrick? Uh, No, like Fitzpatrick is fine because he's a low-priced play, right? And he's going to get at least 14 points this week. But still, like, no, you've got guys like will that just – it's like these guys are on their home league fantasy team, so they put them in their FanDuel lineups. That's the only way I can explain something. Trying to get that sweat, man. And now the shark is entering the waters. <laughs> You're on high alert, fellas. Hey, just make sure you credit the swole cast after the uh, screenshot, and we're all good. Look, we I, did. I, I Shout out to the one to. guy, the one guy who this show <laughs> yeah. this season has helped. He won like he won like. Like four the guy that won I think 20 that's grand the first time in the Johnson. history of this whole cast. Oh, was Someone's it 20 money? No, because we just talked about Cal winning a million dollars. So two two weeks ago, a dude won 20 grand off Duke Johnson. It I think is, somebody else won last week. Though. Yeah, but that was he credited other shows as well. But it is the first time this show. I'm, I'm guessing nobody. I, I'm guessing nobody touted Duke Johnson other than me that week. Man, Tuttle's looking for W's wherever Man, he can I get on this show. I am. <laughs> do you want some cookies, Tuttle? Because I have want, I want to win. You know what I want to do? I want to win a million dollars with my take. That's what I want. Yeah, so, all right. So we got Lamar, Marlon Mack, and Marquise Brown. Davis, did you get a? Did you give a play? Or is that my? Yeah, Marlon. Yeah, Marlon it's on Mack. you, Dave. All right. Um, follow, follow along, man. Sorry. I'll go Michael Thomas since that's who I was going to do. Great pick. Great pick. Just take take the guys that are going to be high owned and good plays. Who cares? Don't overthink it. Don't ownership. Don't overthink it. Uh, You can have. I don't don't know if you guys have seen the Blender videos, but you can have chalk with cheap people. Well, here's the thing. There are actually no plays, David. There aren't any plays. There aren't. There are no plays. You play whoever you want. There are no plays. It's the wisest advice Jordan's ever given. It's math. Just tilting Davis, my face off reading that? Uh, Davis, you don't realize it, but when you grow old, you're going to be Jordan. <laughs> I, there are some, there are a little, there are a little, no. there are a few things that are not accurate about that call. No, I'm serious. That's, uh, you don't realize it, but that's, that's you. That's you in 20 years. I see Feels it. Feels unlikely yes, at best. No, I see it. Thank you, that's Tuttle. Very similar. Yep. All right. Uh, Peter? See Matt, jam him in. <laughs> Put him in the flex though, because they're gonna have to late swap when he scratches. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't swap, dude. You don't You're swap. Right. You only play We're the best play. Zero, dude. Oh, I would man. rather symbolically yeah. lose with McCaffrey than win we've got. Him. We've got forty nine hundred left now. <laughs> we gotta play <laughs> Jalen. Sa- we gotta play Jalen Samuels, right? I don't think we we'll can. Put, it, put in Brown's defense again. Yeah, we'll put in Browns or thirty five hundred. Well, it's on it's on FanDuel, so like there's probably a forty five hundred dollar wide receiver is projected for like seventeen, right? Uh, well, all if right. You're so putting Browns defense, we're not in that bad of shape with all the yeah deep wide receivers. You might have to go. Yeah, well, Red Ellison, Red Ellison, obviously. <laughs> no, we're not. You can't play Red Ellison over on Eric Ebron. All right, uh, Davis, do you have a plan? 
Do I have a tight end play? No, you have wide receiver, tight end, flex, 5,300 left per player. Hashtag fan. Hashtag Mike Gesicki. Okay. Gesicki says in. All right. <laughs> Mike Gesicki is our generation's Jack Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> In the former generations, Mike Gesicki is $100 cheaper. <laughs> hey, Gesicki's better on Gisicki. FanDuel, though. Gesicki's better on FanDuel. Gets... <laughs> <laughs> he gets double-digit fantasy points for the, first, for the first time. And Davis just falls in love with the I remember the first time I was guy. targeted five times in a game. <laughs> And Dave just falls in love. And Davis, over well, no, I've always loved him because he's 99th percentile spark. Oh, yeah, he's a so spark I just, I just, I just needed Evan to tweet out the asterisk, and I knew that's <laughs> when it was go time. Davis, Did he have trouble with the playbook? Maybe he's just now coming around. Yeah. Don't don't do any math, Davis. Guess how many points Mike Gesicki had on FanDuel last week? Six and a half. Oh, okay. He had 12 and a half. He had 95 oh. yards. Oh, he had dude. 95 yards receiving. How is he going to have six and a half points? <laughs> you think Last I knew that fumbles, he had 95 sorry. yards receiving? Well, the fact that you've recommended him at every turn suggested <laughs> that maybe you looked at the box score. No, dude, week. he's he's just going to play a lot because Preston's out. They like I just refuse to believe that even a tanking NFL team can go into a week being like, you know who's going to get seven targets this week? Alan Hearns. Guys, this is... um. A legitimate question, and I ask you this in a safe space. Is there a 100-yard bonus on FanDuel? <laughs> no, there's not. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I li- okay. T-I-L. 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 Yeah, the good news is if we play Jalen Samuels, we can actually we can actually play Jalen Samuels. You just need a $4,500 wide receiver. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't yeah, there one? If you play, if you play Christian Kirk, you're left with five, a 5K flex play. So it gets it gets pretty dicey. I don't know. We could, no, we jo- Jojo Albert Wilson, obvious play. Albert Wilson's 4,500. Here you go, Davis. You're born. The, you and, you and Scott Barrett have just been and... waiting all season for this? He's like the, he's like the only 4,500 receiver I can find. No, there was, um, Isaiah McKenzie, obviously. <laughs> Robert <laughs> yes. Foster. Aside from Isaiah McKenzie. Robert Foster's <laughs> McKenzie out oh, snapped. <laughs> Did Foster get any offensive snaps last last week? Oh, about, dude, Far- Farrell Cooper, bro. Lock it up. What about JoJo Natson? I just touted JoJo Natson like 37 seconds ago. You did? What? You know what we could do? We could, play, we, we could play the wrong Mike Thomas at 4,500. Oh, bad Mike Thomas. And, and say it was a misclick. <laughs> <laughs> and just get on support with FanDuel all afternoon. <laughs> this is an excellent uh, case study in how playing <laughs> Christian McCaffrey and Michael Thomas and the highest price uh, quarterback. Probably is not going to work. It can get a little sticky when you when you create your team. Yeah, the only thing that's sticky is all that money in your fingers, Dave. All Love to oh, <laughs> drink. All right. Well, um, I think that <laughs> that concludes the portion of this show. Good note to end it on. Sorry for chuckling. We haven't Let's even see. talked about tight ends. We Pretty just good. did. You were gone for like a three minutes. We've it's talked all- for Red Ellison for 40% of the show. <laughs> Red <laughs> Ellison and Mike Kosicki, baby. <laughs> We laugh, Davis. but like that decision is going to swing millions of dollars this weekend, whichever one of those guys you pick. Davis, final thoughts. Man, I really hope David Montgomery doesn't put me in a coffin this weekend one way or the other. Whatever decision I make on my, on David Montgomery, I really, really, really hope it's the right one. The good news is that you don't have to play him on Fandle. You can play him, but you don't have to. Uh, Peter, last thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I I do think there's one guy that is going to swing a million dollars in both directions this week, and, and that's Christian McCaffrey. So uh, I hope you're on the right side of history with me. <laughs> Tuttle? Um, Russell Gage season? Oh, oh man. Is that Tuttle, That's the take? Tuttle is like, uh, like <laughs> as Peter has taken the performance art of like, oh, like, oh, I'm only playing good plays, Tuttle took that as a challenge to be like, how many times can I talk about players who are going to score zero points? I've been trying really hard to find a terrible take, and it was going to be Josh Reynolds, but he's not terrible enough. I Wait, like isn't Russell transform- Gage getting a ton of targets, though? <laughs> he had nine targets last week. Yeah, that's absurd. 
<laughs> I mean, Josh Reynolds is thirty eight hundred dollars on DraftKings and Wait. averages like twelve DraftKings For points when he ago. starts. We've we've got Russell Gage at five percent ownership on Facebook. Probably not. Game, game log surfers. That's that's all Tuttles. <laughs> it's just, yeah. it's Tuttles. That's max injury. They're like, they're like t- b- before Jamino posted, he asked me how much how much Russell Gage I was playing this week, and I said I'm all in. So, <laughs> well, you is. have to tell like for those fish that don't know who Russell Gage plays for, you have to tell them who they play who he plays for and why you're recommending him. I mean, I'm not recommending him. Well, you just did for Tuttles' <laughs> terrible take. I mean, actually, ma- if matchups do matter. The uh, the Saints do struggle against slot receivers, and good old Russell Gage. Let me tell you, he plays in the slot for the Atlanta Falcons, and he saw nine targets from Matt Schaub in Week Eight before their bye. So, Tuttle, after, after Sunday, the Falcons will be saying Mohamed Sahu. Oh yeah, I like it. Twelve, 12 yeah, Gage, yeah. Beat no, but uh, Tuttle, I do want to say, if you want credit for someone winning a million dollars with Russell Gage, you have to own this take right yeah, now. Yeah, you do. I'm owning it. Russell, okay. mother Gage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That will do it. Uh, special thanks to everybody that uh, has, if for some reason, keeps watching this show. Like, if someone asked me, someone told me last week, they're like, I thought last week was the worst show that you guys have done this week. And I said, and thank we you. said, hold my nice beer week 10. <laughs> I said, thank you. Because Wait I, until you see Peter's lighting next week. <laughs> <laughs> I keep on waiting for people to tell me that this whole cast was horrible. Um, and they, they don't. They say, well, at least you guys. You fine. just said someone told you it was horrible. Yeah. And exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's why I told it, him. It took thank nine you. weeks. You took well, nine we didn't weeks. do, we did not do a better job this week than last week. I can be almost no. sure of that. Eventually, it's going to wear off and people will stop watching. But for right now, they are watching. So we want to say thank you. Next week, we'll have a uh, a special, special show. I'm not sure why, but just know it'll be special. Oh, and can I get in a plug? I'm doing a show with one of Davis's colleagues, Michael Leone, tomorrow, 4 p.m., Roto Grinders YouTube. Drunk lineup building show. We are going to get sloshed up and build a <laughs> fan duel lineup. We're going to run the optimizer, put it in, and then get drunk for the last 40 minutes. It's going to be great. I, I wish I still had. I have a video somewhere of Leone when he's getting trashed at a two FanDuel, FanDuel live event. He had stole someone's hat, so he has two hats. Um, and he's drinking Kay Adams. Drink. Yes, that was the girl. I was trying to remember her name. And I said, "That is that is Kay Adams' drink." And he goes. Well, she's up there with Ricky now. Uh, and it was, it was Ricky Henderson, but that was his, that was his excuse is that she was hosting with Ricky Henderson up there. So her drink, he didn't even know her. He was just drinking her drink. That's, I, I, that's what you get with Michael Leone. I did not know that's where his uh, Twitter handle came from. That I gave it to him. Fact. That was a fun fact. It was I gave that, it to him. It was that What's final. What's so tilting is that his handle is verified and mine is not, and his name is Two Hats, One Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was the final. That was the first time. That was a long time ago. So like swapping and stuff was kind of relatively new. And I swapped with Leone, and he pitched Dan Straley. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Dan Straley lasted maybe an inning. No, he, the first inning went well, and then second inning just got. Just I think got. that was. Uh, I think that was when Coors had the bathroom. Leone is like Peter is like trying to be a chalk donkey now. Leone has been like full galaxy brain for like the last eighteen months. So like I am very very excited for their show together. Yeah. We, I think we have a workaround. Well, we'll Leone, Leone majored in mathematics in college. Like he is a just a dweeb ass. And if uh, Leone, Leone is not funny at all, except when he's had an alcohol. So uh, no, Leone's funny. Leone's funnier no. than you. Oh, he's not funny. Like not sober. He's not funny. He's, he's funny like, to me. Like uh, he's like unintentional funny, maybe. It's like funny to laugh at. Anyways, it'll be a great show. I, that, I haven't tuned into one of your shows, but I will tune in to this show. Appreciate that, Dave. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I, I watch I'm it whenever. On that one. I watch it whenever uh, Pete has a bad week. That's the good stuff. So you watch every week. That's really yeah. nice of you, Davis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, special thanks to everyone watching this show. Special thanks to our producer, Simon Edwards. We'll see you next week for week 11 here on rotogrinders.com.